Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, in this video, we're gonna use some basic name to create a, a simple uh, basic LaTeX document. Okay, um, I've already created the file that I saved. Okay, this is one here because if you, if you don't save it, you won't be able to compile it. Okay, and this is name my first tutorial. Okay, dot TX. Okay, so now I'm starting with a command, right? Document, the kind of document I'm writing, and when I press document. Okay, the, the system, the program recommends me uh, a couple of stuff that I'm, have, I'm choosing document uh, which has uh, pairs of bracket and, and everything. So in the first square bracket, there is a, you can put a size of document in it. Okay, you can put whatever you want, but 11 is good enough. Okay, and in the curve bracket, you put the type of your document, and this is the article, what we almost use right here. Okay. So now that I'm done with this, I can begin to create my document. Okay, and by doing that, I'm pressing the command begin. And when I press begin, I'm still having some suggestion. And asking you to do to use the scroll bar to scroll up and down and search what I'm looking for. And what I'm looking for is this one here, right? Document. And when I press document, you can see I have the closing tag already. And this goes always in pairs. So everything uh, concerning your document goes in between the beginning of your document and the ending of your document. So now I can even give my document a title by en entering the, the command title, okay, and give my title in there. So that I can say my first LaTeX document, okay, and to make this title appear. I need to to write a command make title okay and this is it to make my my document appear okay so I can first compile by you know hitting quick bit here to see what it gives us okay then if I compile here I'm having my document right here okay this is here my first latex document and date of 27 the date is automatic but you can even change it okay so we can also add some command section okay uh, like saying here a print here command section and if I start a print and I have section here and put a title it can be like an introduction okay and then I put something like something in the introduction this is my introduction okay and here I can even you know compile it to see what it gives me see my introduction there with what I wrote in it you know and I can do as much as possible I can even put another section coordinate um, um, uh, location for example okay then write something location you know uh, Germany for example and compile it to see what it gives me see what it gives me here okay okay i can even add another line to the uh, to the first section here okay just for like this is the line two okay and compile it to see what it gives me but everything is going on the same line so how can i change it it's very simple i just need to put you know backslash twice there if, if it makes a page breaker and compile it in the document as you can see here, okay. I can do that. I can do that as much as possible. I can do this and then enter in our document. Then saying that this is three, okay. And then press it. Then I have everything lined up, okay. So the next thing I can do here, uh, some document formatting, formatting by using, for example, text. Uh, first, first of all, the command backslash, okay. Text bold face and then put into curve bracket the document I want to bold paste it. okay and then compile here to see what it's giving me so we got our document bold paste or I can even make a text large by pressing document begin uh, in curve bracket I got large or huge if you want huge okay see the command is cropping up 
and then I add my document here with the uh, and huge okay and then oh there's a mistake command is missing something is missing here and you begin with huge huge oh okay I got this huge here it's got to be like this okay everything's okay then I press enter What is that giving me here? Oh, okay. It gave me um okay, give me another document. So here, just go back. Our document is starting here, okay. This is I got the big huge and I think this is separated from that it's okay. Alright, so see we got this line, this is the line three. Okay, I can make a use like that. Other thing we can do, we can use the, uh, we can even change the font color of our text. For example, using the um, uh, the package color, right? So using the package color. So we're gonna write, for example, here, uh, change the font color of our text color. Okay. Then we can give um, like uh, define define the color into Put the bracket, say red for example, and get our text here. This is a red color. Okay, then if you compile it, see if we have any red color right there. Also, with this package, we can define the um, the color box. Okay, we can also define define the color box, saying like color box okay defining the color we need to define the color let me put like uh, uh, blue or uh, yeah green of course and then the text we want to have the sound here this is a blue box this is a blue box okay and then if we compile it, oh, this is a green box. Okay, we'll say here green. That is a green here. This is a green box. Okay, then we give another green box we have here. And other thing we can do, we can change the color, the the, the color of the text itself in a in this box right here. By saying, for example, that we define the color, saying the color. And defining a color, for example, white. Okay, this is the color white. Uh, the color white, and then inside this text box, and then just hit enter. Can you see the text change to to white? Even you can change like uh, uh, give another color. I don't know. Uh, you can make it both face. You can do everything you want. Okay. Okay, other thing we can do, uh, we can even change the page color, why not? Uh, color, I mean page color, we can even change the page color. Okay, and define what color you want here, you put like gray. And hit, here to compile. Page color, the color is not defined, oh, okay. Uh, yellow, for example. Let me say yellow and see what it gives us. Okay, think the page change to yellow. Okay, uh, what about uh, sky blue? What about sky blue? The color is not defined right here. I uh, maybe I separated. It's not defined, so we need another package for that. So um. Why not lime green? Lime green, the color is not defined also. So I need another package, this sort of like this, and later component expression, can immediate. So I need um, another color to define it. Or maybe sometimes I like on latex, you need to, it's not defined. So I need the, but this is the video is about the basic thing. So I need to, we need to start first doing some little formatting of the document and in the next video we're going to do much more okay so let us just do like uh, 
uh, I mean the basic colors like uh, uh, um, what do I have uh, I have green already um, I have let me put green anyway see this is the pay our page is becoming green and this tech we have this text here in white we can put it in a different color now like uh, uh, like uh, uh, blue okay so it much easier to see see okay um okay guys that's it for this for this video it was just about the basic things uh concerning latex uh, in the next video we're going to do much more okay thank you for watching and until next time bye bye